welcome back to the channel uh, long time no see a uh, bit of a catch up on stuff that I've just ordered uh, some of these I've already opened but I've, I've got one here that I haven't opened yet uh, but these are the most recent purchases I've got uh, I got this today I've been wanting that for a while uh, if I can get it without the light shining in it uh, The Last Castle Jerry Goldsmith that's the expanded version uh, of the score from uh, Intrada from a couple of years ago been wanting that for a while found it on eBay at a really decent price uh, I, I enjoyed the film and I enjoyed the score so that's still it's cellophane as well doesn't taste very nice uh, I've been wanting this for a while I remember this film as a kid uh, it was they used to show it on bank holidays and things and uh, I, I always remembered it always creeped me out I always thought it was a great film the Satan Bug, Jerry Goldsmith. Now this is one of those weirdly uh, titled archival editions. I can understand it in this case because uh, it's one of those age old things like the, the original tapes are lost, blah, 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 blah. So this has been taken from all sorts of different sources. There are some clean stereo tracks on here, but there's also uh, kind of stems taken directly from the film, which still have sound effects in it. But it's a great Jerry Goldsmith score. Uh, from 1965, written and di uh, directed and produced by John Sturges, uh, who knew uh, a thing or two about making a good film. Great Escape, great score, Elmer Bernstein. Uh, Magnificent Seven, again, Elmer Bernstein. So, great stuff there. I'm just happy to have that again. Got it for a really good price on uh, eBay. Uh, and I, uh, I can't remember. I, I can't remember whether it was Neil or or Dave Williams that recently bought this. I, I realised I didn't have it. Demolition Man, Elliot Goldenthal. Uh, until a better edition comes along, happy to have this one. Uh, another one of those uh, fun films and a fun score. Uh, so yeah, they're the latest ones. Oh, been wanting this for ages. I missed out a couple of times on a couple of auctions on eBay. Uh, and again, sometimes you just get lucky browsing through eBay and I came across the three disc BSX edition of Godzilla by David L David Arnold uh, the complete score I, it wasn't a huge success I mean it made money at the cinema but but I think because it wasn't the smash that everybody thought it was there was never a score uh, issued at the time but I, I love David Arnold's big kind of adventure fantasy scores uh, and I'm just glad to eventually have that three disc version uh, and again I'm not gonna tell you how much but really good price uh, and then finally, this is one uh, I've wanted for years. I've never actually seen the film for this one. So let's cut this open. Uh, it's by one of my top three composers. Jerry Goldsmith is my top composer. Well, they're, they're interchangeable between uh, Jerry Goldsmith and the composer of this film. Uh, oh, it's one of those dust filled envelopes. Look at that. Ugh. Um, yeah, okay, let me get a pair of scissors. Luckily, I'm in the kitchen, so we have scissors. Oh, it's a really thick package. This dust stuff is going everywhere. <coughs> I don't know if you can see that. Ugh. It's like asbestos. I hope it isn't asbestos. Anyway, the microphone wire is getting tangled up. Uh, nicely packaged. So it's a John Williams soundtrack, which uh, was released in 2001. The film came out in 2000, uh, 1981. Uh, and it sells for silly money now on eBay and other places. Uh, you can get it on download on uh, uh, Apple Music and Spotify and all those other good places. But I've always wanted this on CD. And it's Heart Beeps. John Williams Heart Beeps. Uh, and this is in pristine condition. Oh, look at that. I've wanted this for years and years and years. Uh, a lot of people don't really give it much 
thought, but I just think it's a really fun, of its time, uh, just a really fun score. And people I, people would say it's a guilty pleasure. It's not a guilty pleasure, because I'm telling everybody that I like it, so it's not guilty at all. Uh, but I'm just really happy to have that. So, yeah. So, that's it for now. Uh, speak to you soon, hopefully. Uh, be good, uh, and good day. <laughs>